We are back here at the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum here at Bass Pro Shops in Springfield, Missouri. I'm here with Jim Sapika for a special series of curators' corners from this wonderful jewel of a museum. Jim, we've seen elephant tusks, we've seen double rifles, beautiful guns, and now, as a contrast, tell us what is this farm all about and why is it going to be on Curator's Corner, Mr. Sapika? A lot of our viewers are going to recognize this. This is the classic Browning Auto 5. It was made from 1902 to 1998, the first uh, successful semi-automatic shotgun, and it's a classic. Uh, everyone's dad or granddad had one of these. Uh, it's a classic gun, and you can tell this gun has been used and loved. It's got the classic custom modifications for a gun that's been in a family for a long time. <laughs> Butt stock is cracked and wrapped with electrical tape. I need to put on white gloves for this. There's a, a rubber butt plat pad uh, added to it, uh, and there's your high tech siding design, uh, ah, device, that's a, a medical tape around the front to help you get on that bird real fast. <laughs> but this gun not only is a classic shotgun, but it is also uh, the beginning of uh, the greatest outdoor retailing venture and uh, one of the greatest conservationists in the country because this is the shotgun that was given to Bass Pro founder Johnny Morris by his dad. John Morris when, when Johnny turned 21. Wow. And uh, uh, it has a lot of, lot of family memories. Uh, and, and Johnny grew up hunting and fishing in the Ozarks and uh, uh, had many a wonderful day with his shotgun in the field. There's a letter from his dad that has a picture of, of uh, uh, the dad and the mom and this, this gun and their dog and said, uh, told Johnny, here are four of the best things in my life. My wife who is pregnant with you, my son, and my best bird dog, and a handful of feathers that made my day. There was a quail that they'd shot that he was holding. And uh, uh, from there, Johnny Morris, uh, uh, an avid fisherman, avid outdoorsman, uh, he was disappointed with the tackle that he could find in the region, and he got a U-Haul trailer and drove around the country buying the best fishing tackle that he could find. And he set up a, a counter in his dad's liquor store to sell tackle, and that's how Bass Pro Shops got started. From there to here. Here we are, 1971. This is the mothership. This the is mothership. the original Bass Pro Shop. And uh, as we know, it's spread throughout the country. It has everything, I think, here except for a liquor store here. Yeah, I think so. And, and, I think and so. Literally, in all seriousness, so people understand, uh, Johnny Morris, a man of vision, putting this place together, it's not only the largest, I guess, Bass Pro Shop, but you were one of the first people to, to partner, the NRA partnered with, with Bass Pro and Johnny Morris to build the National Sporting Arms Museum. There's an archery museum, there's, there's, there's classrooms and exhibits, and they're about to open up a brand new whole big museum and beautiful extension on place. This place, it's, it's hard to describe. This it place. is already the biggest tourist attraction in Missouri and surrounding states and they're going to open up, they're nearly going to double their square footage, and it will all be museums, aquariums, zoological exhibits, uh, a beautiful wildlife diorama, uh, and it, it's opening in the fall of 2017, and it'll be a spectacular destination. But it's, uh, it all comes from that uh, uh, love of outdoorsmanship and the, uh, the conservation. Johnny wanted the, the theme of this museum to be hunting, conservation, and freedom. And, and what it does beautifully here with this museum and the rest of the store, we can actually literally see over to the store down below us is it beautifully integrates this whole kind of hunting, fishing, outdoor lifestyle together in, in all this retail, but also these museums and exhibits and everything. And there, like I said, there's, there's, there's aquariums and wildlife and all around here. It's just so beautifully works here. And well, I'm, there's that great American heritage, not only of firearms ownership, but also of hunting, of outdoorsmanship, and that has to be passed and, on and, to future generations. And, and just like Johnny and his dad. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. All right, well, how do we come and see this beautiful shotgun here? This shotgun, this well-loved shotgun, <laughs> is at the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum at Bass Pro Shops in Springfield, Missouri. We've got another great museum at NRA headquarters in Fairfax, Virginia, the NRA National Firearms Museum. Come out and see them all. Jim Sapika, thanks for another great segment of The Curator's Corner.